Let's make some faux leather leggings. I took a pair of leggings and began outlining them in chalk. Then I had a moment of deja vu where I realized I had done this same exact thing a little over a year ago. And I even documented the pattern, so to save some time, I used that instead. But if you are making these leggings for the first time, outlining the shape of your favorite leggings is a really good method. Now sew along the crotch seams. To get a perfect fit, I recommend basting the seams together and then trying it on. Then sew right along the end seam to make legs. Once you've got all those seams basted together, try it on inside out. Pinch together any seams that need to be taken in and just mark it with chalk where the new seam will go. And then try it on again until it fits perfectly. Then you can finalize all the seams, but make sure you use a zigzag stitch. The hem is pretty simple. You just turn it under and then stitch over it. You can use a zigzag stitch or a fancy stitch. I decided to use a fancy stitch this time and see how it went, and I kind of like it. For the waist, you can do the same thing as the hem. You can turn it under and then top stitch that, or you can do what I did, which is cut out two pieces of fabric on the fold that are in soft trapezoid shapes. The wider part of the trapezoid should be just about a half inch smaller than the waist. Then you take those two pieces, unfold them, place them right sides together, and sew along the side seams. If you are adding a waistband, don't forget to lop off the top of your pants so that you do not have a super, super high-waisted pant. Then you're going to take those newly sewn together trapezoid pieces and fold in half. And that new piece gets sewn to the pants. As you sew, gently pull on the waistband to fit into the waist of the pants. And there they are. Thanks for working on this project with me. Now let's see what these leggings look like as part of an outfit. 